Amy, thanks. Police have arrested a local man who allegedly tried to burn down a rabbi's home in Brooklyn, New York, after a long-standing feud. Last year, the suspect sent KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan a series of emails giving details about the dispute. Andy explains what led to his arrest. Firefighters battled a spectacular blaze in Brooklyn in which 14 people were injured, but miraculously, no one was killed. Yes, you know Police have arrested 41-year-old Matthew Karaleski of McKeesport on charges of arson and attempted homicide after a long-standing grudge against the homeowner, Rabbi Jonathan Max. I know that he had a plan to kill my dad. In this long, rambling screed Karolewski sent to me last year, he accused the rabbi of sexually abusing him as a child. Quote, Rabbi Max has hurt me many, many times and continues to hurt me until this day, including but not limited to the following. As a minor, Rabbi Max sexually molested me weekly for close to three years. After leaving Brooklyn for Pittsburgh as an adult, Karoleski said Rabbi Max visited several times and that he found the rabbi in bed with Karoleski's then wife. Quote, he is lucky I did not kill him on the spot. The only reason I didn't was because I thought about going to jail for life and about my kids growing up without a father, and that stopped me. But Karoleski says that is when he got this tattoo on his arm, which reads, Never let go of the hatred, kill Rabbi Max. When the tattoo appeared on a Facebook account bearing his name, Pittsburgh police arrested Karoleski in October of 2017, charging him with criminal use of a communication facility and terroristic threats. But the charges were dismissed at trial in May of last year by Judge Randall Todd, who ruled that Allegheny County did not have jurisdiction to prosecute. In his email, Karoleski proclaimed his innocence, quote, getting a tattoo does not mean that I will truly kill him. My tattoo does not say that I will kill him. According to the English grammar, my tattoo can only be understood as a directive. It is a directive to God. The rabbi has denied the abuse claims, telling the New York Times he did not know Karoleski as a child, but later worked with him at an all-boys Jewish school in Brooklyn. His son, Ezra Max, says Karoleski finally made good on his threats he's made against his father over the years. He said he would destroy him reputationally, and then he came to actually kill him physically. Now, Karoleski was arrested Saturday night in Midtown Manhattan and is being held there pending his formal arraignment later on this week. Max's son said he hopes the system provides help for Karoleski, whom he says is mentally ill. Uh, more on this case, plus his emails to me at 6 o'clock. Christine, Ken, back to you.